Hi, this is Aaron Walls, video game music sound designer and composer. I was the audio lead for Magic Legends by Cryptic Studios. Today I just wanted to give you a peek under the hood to see how the music system works. All the music of this game was composed by Jeff Broadbent. Look him up online. Very talented and professional. So for implementation, I used an audio middleware software called WISE, or WISE, by Audio Kinetic. Audio middleware allows you to not just play a loop or the same sound every time, but to vary it depending on where the player is or what's happening to the player, or just randomly. So there's a few worlds here. Let's look at Talaria. So there's going to be two types of music in Magic. One is going to be kind of linear story, and the other is going to be the overworld. Let's start with the stories. So the stories... Let's start with Forbidden Vault. You're going to see that we have this base and this boss. So in Wise, if you haven't used it before, the, the types of subfolders are a little confusing at first. You have the, the work unit, which is going to be the world in this case. You're going to have folders. You're going to have switch containers, music playlist containers, and music segments. So this kind of goes top to bottom. So if you ever forget the name of any of these, you can always right click and try to add a new one and see what they're called. You do get the hang of it eventually. So basically, you have base here, which is most of the level, and you have boss, which happens at the end of the level. These are selected by states or state groups. So you're going to hear see here there's going to be a music state, base, boss 1, boss 2, etc. And then you can assign basically a path to play based on the various states there. So in general, you're going to hear this bass music. Now the bass music is going to have bass, which basically is going to be the calm, not in battle sound. You're going to have rhythm, which is going to add elements of battle sounds. And then you're going to have victory, usually at the end of the level or when you get treasure at the end, that, that sort of thing. So the bass music is going to have a loop as well as stems. So stems are basically groups of instruments or instruments separated. So the way I have it set up in the project is half of the time you're going to hear each one, half of the time you're going to hear silence. And so it creates a different performance. Basically every time the loop goes back to the beginning. And sometimes you're going to hear the full loop as well. In this case it's set up randomly continually to loop and it's going to be 50% of the time the entire loop 50% stems and there's always ambience playing so even if the stems conjure up all silence you're still going to hear something like birds chirping or the sound of the sea etc so let's give a listen into the bass music here And that would continue all the way and loop back to the beginning. Let's play it again and see if we get stems or if we get the main loop again. This time we get stems. So the other element here of the bass music is the rhythm. So the rhythm is going to contain all of the bass elements, plus it's going to contain a new layer that's the battle drums, basically. Now, there again was going to be a loop and stems, but the stems are always going to play the rhythm. So when you're in battle, you'll always hear that same rhythm. So let's give it a whirl and see what we get. Let's try again. So you can hear this time slightly different, but you still have the same drums going on. All right. So again, basically you can use these music states to play uh, whatever track you want at, at that moment. Um, so in this case, when battle is happening, a switch one occurs 
and it will play the rhythm section here. And after the battle, it's going to go back into this bass section here. And when you win, it can go to victory. Now, the, these just don't happen start and stop. They have transitions. And there's a place in WISE where you set all of that up. And it's the transitions tab up here, which can be hard to find if you're not used to WISE. So this has all of that information. So these transitions will dictate when the new track is played, once the trigger happens. So next bar, next beat, immediately at the end of the loop, etc. You can have it jump to the very start. You can have it sync to the same time as the playing segment. So in this case, the length of the bass music is the same as the rhythm. So if you're 40 seconds in, I want it to keep the con the you know continuity of that. So it basically just adds those instruments and there's a crossfade that happens. And the way you set that up is fade out here and fade in here. And every type of transition, whether it be from bass to rhythm, rhythm to bass, etc., anything to victory, it can all be set up the way you want it to to work. So it's pretty cool. Wise is pretty powerful once you figure the system out. So that, in a nutshell, is the kind of the main linear music system in the game. Um, for the victories, I basically have all of the stingers, uh, the victory stingers, play randomly. And then maybe next time you play through the level, you hear... So it really makes an interesting dynamic experience. So you're wandering around, you don't really get the same experience twice, which is cool because you want it to have replayability. So the second system is the overworld system. And this one is a little bit more complicated and took a little while to set up properly. So in the Talaria overworld and all of the overworlds in Magic Legends, basically you have three main neighborhoods and a hub, which is kind of a town or a social area, and you're not going to get in battle there. So that one is the most complex one. The way that all of these are set up is by basically volumes that are placed on the map that when you cross over them will trigger a certain state that will play the appropriate neighborhood sound. When you go into the map, you get the overarching event, Music Talaria Overworld. So it will play immediately, and depending on what neighborhood you're in, it will play the appropriate neighborhood. All of these are also designed with transitions, just like in the linear music. So it's not going to be instant. You're going to have, you know, maybe a full bar of crossfade into this new track. Because in the overworlds, you'll hear that all of the themes are very similar, like a suite of work, but kind of different movements, um, if you think of it like a symphony in that way. So for the neighborhoods, the other interesting element is I didn't want to just play like one loop or one type of stem but I have several and they just play randomly. And then one of them in each world also has a solo instrument. So in this case, it's violin and every four bars, it's gonna play a random violin soloist track. And sometimes it will play nothing there. It will not play any violin. And then four bars later, it's gonna play um, a different, in this case, I think it's every eight bars. So depending on the world, they're set up differently, but basically it is composing its own track every single time it goes through, which is amazing because you're never really going to hear the same thing. And that's pretty cool. So um, let's give a shot and see, and you can hear, see here, it's going to show you which one is selecting. It may take me a few times to get them all to play. So this is the hub. I played the same one. Here's the violin one that I was talking about. So that's just like randomly selected. 
And then in eight bars, it's going to play another violin lick or nothing at all. Cool. Let's see if we can get the third one to play. There's the second again. There we go. So if you spend a long time in the hub, it's not going to play the same thing twice very often. It's it's pretty pretty random. So once you cross over into one of the neighborhoods, let's look at those real quick. So one thing to talk about with these neighborhoods is that because there can be battles or missions that happen when you're fighting in them, I had to consider that I needed to put it, the the battle rhythm section, like kind of like in the story ones. Um, the way this was done was by default, everything is playing, including the battle, but there's this little tab that exists. So let me show you. Let's see. Here we go. Aha! Rhythm. Okay. So in the rhythm track here of this neighborhood number one, up here next to transitions, you have a, a tab called states. And in states, this basically says if the state open mission inactive is true, voice volume will be lowered by 100 decibels. And unless you're superhuman, you're not going to hear that at all. In fact, the way that WISE works, usually if something's very quiet, it just cuts the voice entirely. So basically, it deletes the rhythm music from playing as, as long as this is true. Now, if open mission becomes active, you're going to hear it. And again, not right away because it will transition and fade in. And that's all set up in the transition tab. So um, you're going to hear the, the rhythm when I play these because it's set to, def to be heard by default. So let's listen to some neighborhood one. So this selected stems, so just like in the stories, we have stems or the entire loop. Let's play it again. See, it's different this time, right? Had that first instrument. Cool. So if you walk into the second area, Neighborhood 2, it will crossfade and start playing this theme. Now this is the coastlines, which had also like ocean crashing and such set up in the ambience, which is separate from this music system. Let's see if we can get the whole loop. There we go. Cool. And then you walk into the third neighborhood, Underground Caves, and you get... And of course this has cave ambience going on. Let's see if we can get the stems. Now again, sometimes the stems are going to be really sparse and play basically nothing at all. And so in this case, you would hear the water dripping and the various ambience that I set up for each of these areas. So that's a lot, probably. I hope this was helpful or interesting. And uh, I would love your comments and questions. Um, I'll try to do some more videos about whys and how I've set things up. And until next time, keep listening to great stuff and make sure to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any of my videos. Take care and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.